Coming up on today's episode, I'm going to be bringing about a little change to the structure of these podcasts to become more of a sort of developer blog uh, instead uh, in this vlog style for the video versions of the podcasts or just audio version a podcast that has developer notes in it so if you're interested in the active projects that i'm working on right now then buckle up because i'm going to be describing dissecting and talking about all of these active projects where i'm at and where i'm going with them up next on the mind here Hey, what is up everyone? It's the guy here and welcome back to another episode of The Mind Here, the bi-weekly podcast where I talk about new knowledge I've learned, projects I'm working on, and current events. Topics may be random, but I hope that with each episode you can come away with a fresh perspective on the universe. Welcome to all of you who are here for the first time. If you like my content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. All right, so to start this off, it's going to be a bit of a break from the usual structure that I've developed, the structure of starting with the breakthroughs, the uh, new knowledge that I've learned from various articles I'm reading, or just my everyday experiences and some things that I think that I can bring to you guys. Uh, That's what I usually start off with. Uh, And then we have those reflections on what I've been working on, followed by some shots I will be calling for what I will be getting done uh, the next week. So that structure, I'm actually, the basic structure I'm still keeping, just this episode. uh, I wasn't really good about going through all the media that I wanted to look at and all the various articles that I've saved up, so I don't really have any uh, breakthroughs to go through, so uh, that's going to be discarded here for this episode. But in the future, uh, that will still be in its place. But in the reflection section, it's still going to be called the reflections, but what I'm going to do is make that a sort of developer uh, developer log, basically talking about the updates that I've been working on and where I'm at with current things. So it's very similar to the reflections, but it's going to be a little more formalized uh, to be geared towards the projects that I'm working on, and I'll actually mention what they are. And this is sort of inspired by some of developers that I've been following on various uh, various media, and I've noticed that they use some sort of uh, developer log, basically, where they update people about where they are, and I think that's, a, that's something that's a pretty good because not only does it make you reflect on what you've been able to accomplish and maybe some challenges you've been facing, gives context, to people who are following your project and know about what to expect in the future. So that's why I've chosen to uh, make this sort of a developer uh, journal, essentially. Um, So I'll be going through the various active projects uh, once I get into that section. So uh, this is really just a, a little change to the structure but uh, it'll be hopefully an improvement and I'll be able to uh, more uh, have more incentive to work on these projects and uh, get that motivation up and going for them. So let's talk a bit about these active projects now. The biggest one that I'm working on currently is a Minecraft server plugin called Villager Defense. This plugin is essentially a mini game where players can join and your goal is to defend villagers for as many waves of monsters as possible. You are working together with other players in an arena and uh, you can buy things from the shop, upgrade the monsters, drop uh, gems that you can pick up and use to buy things. So uh, it's a it's a pretty fun mini game and its origin actually comes from uh, when I played it on a, uh, what was it, a server, not Hypixel, the other one, Minecade, I believe. Um, and that one, I believe, is, it's no longer there anymore, but, uh, I started it because I wanted to practice my skills of coding, but also uh, bring it back. So it's my take on that version of it. Uh, So that's where the origin is. And at the moment, it's pretty flushed out. But the problem is that uh, there's uh, it's only compatible with version 116, uh, which is 
kind of outdated so i'm working on improving that and there are some various refinements and uh overall improvements that i want to make adding more features getting it uh, more customizable the goal of these plugins is to make it as customizable as possible and as easy to set up as possible so if you want to set one up on your server uh some it's going to be very quick very simple to set up so that is the goal there and uh with these podcasts usually um I, these are not too edited. I just sort of talk about my thoughts on a certain topic and just record it. I'll then maybe remove some noise if it's in there and do some EQing, but not too much other than that. But uh, with these developer updates, um, I might start adding in a bit more of maybe some B-roll of me coding or working on or testing uh, certain things working on music for those active projects. Um, so those will be in the video version. In the audio version, you won't really uh, you won't really hear about it, uh, but I will do my best to explain whenever I have some B-roll that I want to show. Uh, but that's just a, a tiny bit of update, a tiny change to the structure that I wanted to do just to improve the quality a little bit there. So. There might be some b-roll rolling through here with uh, villager defense me playing it and seeing that but that is where it's at right now and all of these uh these coding projects are on my github uh, which i'll link down in the description below but these are free open source projects and you're able to download them from the spigot website uh, for or it'll redirect you to my github so you'll actually have to go there to download it but um, it's free and it's open source so it's something that you guys can take a look if you're interested in go check it out but that's the current state of that villager defense plugin and the right now i'm working on getting a few of the final little touches up for um a refinement update before i start working on getting the compatibility for all versions from 1.8 maybe 1.7 all the way to 1.18 that way more servers are able to actually use it and you can use uh you can use 1.18 117 uh, blocks to build your arenas out of so that's some update there with villager defense and another op- another project that I'm working on is called the Grinch Simulator, and actually the uh, this is also a server plugin. But this name is going to change as I'm going to generalize the plugin to not just be Grinch Simulator. It's sort of like a present hunt uh, or Easter egg hunt uh, plugin where you go around clicking on and trying to find these presents. That's what Grinch Simulator was, but. Uh, you can see how it can generalize to essentially any event you want, maybe uh, make them Easter eggs or just whatever skin you want onto um, the present, uh, the heads that, Minecraft heads that will be displaying things. So that is the second plugin that I'm working on. And this, this one was actually requested by a server that was using my Villager Defense plugin. They wanted me to build another plugin. So I've been working on that. And that is, is it sort of in parallel with the villager defense. The villager defense will come first, however, because that was my original. And then I'm going to take my lessons learned from that to uh, bring it up uh, and improve this plugin. I've got a few versions out right now. These are pre-release versions or beta versions, essentially. essentially. But uh, again, it's still 1.16 and it's probably not as refined as I wanted to, not as much customization as I wanted to. Just Grinch Simulator at the moment, but once I finish up with Village Defense, get it to the state that I want it to, I'll bring that over and be able to generalize on Grinch Simulator. So that is the current progress on that project. That is two active projects, and these are the two coding projects that I'm working on. A third project that I'm working on is music related, and this is a transcription of uh, Picasonic's uh, what's it called? Emptiness song. So this song is uh, one of her uh, melodic house tracks that I really enjoy, and I think that a uh, piano version from it can be um, incredible. So I wanted to work on this as sort of just a, a project on the side and to uh, keep with the passion of music. So that's also been a project that I've been working on, and currently I have some of the uh, melody, some of the uh, accompaniment made 
but uh, from due to a lack of time, I haven't been able to work on it too much. So in the order of importance for what I've been, what I'll be working on is the villager defense will be coming first. Uh, Grinch simulator is currently on hold until that is done, and the uh, transcription of emptiness will be essentially in my free time. Um, whenever I'm feeling inspired or if I have time on the side to work on it. So that's the, uh, that's the current progress I'm working on. And with the next few weeks coming up, um, there will be, uh, since I'm in college and I have classes to take, I have midterms coming up in about two weeks. So that might impact the ability, for my ability to complete things. But uh, my goal is to get the compatibility of villager defense up to from 1.17 or 1, uh, 1.7 or 1.8 to 1.18. So that is my goal for these plugins moving forward. All right, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode here. Thank you all so much for listening. I appreciate the support that everyone has given me throughout this process. If you uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section of the YouTube version of this podcast. And if you found this episode or the series, my content, to be inspiring, useful, or in any way entertaining, then uh, it would mean a lot if you shared this with someone that you think might benefit from this or give me a like or a subscribe to my channel. Take care, stay humble, and I will see you all in the next episode. This is the guy here, out.